It's only more recently I've realised what my mum and dad went through to for them to be a mixed race couple and be together that they had a lot of of insults and stuff as well. I mean, in my in the house growing up, I do remember um, the song "Young, Gifted, and Black," and we did have reggae on, um, and we also had the music that my mum and dad had on. It was mostly mum really, because dad dad was out working and stuff. Um, my mum and dad, when we were quite young, used to tag team it. So my dad would work nights and my mum would um, work sort of... So he was there in the day and my mum would be working in the day. And then, like, so there's always somebody to look after us or the neighbour up the road um, would sometimes. But mostly it was my mum and dad just tag teaming it. And um, you just walk, you know, walk around a little local area and then he'd be up a ladder or you'd see his van somewhere or whatever just go and say hi and <laughs> go on your way his religion was catholic although he didn't really practice apart from good friday when he had to have fish and that was the, <laughs> that was the whole thing um but most and at christmas and um, that he would get lots of west indian food um sometimes it would be other, you know, throughout the year. I remember mum gutting fish and that for him. Um, so there would be like the traditional... Um, he would he would make a salad out of cucumber and oil and, and stuff, and he absolutely loved that. It was a great big knife, almost like a cutlass. It was a really huge knife, and he'd be you know, chopping up this stuff and even using the tip of it to put the cucumber into his mouth. Um, loved a bit of bacon and eggs, though, at lunchtime, but mostly his dinner would be something um, totally separate from what we were eating. Um, not that we didn't have it sometimes, but it was mostly that's what... He would never had a chip, never, ever had a chip. Couldn't believe that um, he lived all his life and not had a chip. Um, he was in hospital for a while in um, about 2006 and he actually had ice cream. He never had ice cream and I don't know what made him try it. Jelly, he loved jelly, but he tried this ice cream. He couldn't believe that he'd been all this time without him having it because it was so nice. <laughs> he had Hodgkin's disease, so he had that and then he was went through radiation treatment and it was quite awful but he came out the other side but I didn't really have much information because in those days people didn't tell kids anything it was just oh it'll be fine and you know, go off and go and be a kid somewhere else um so there wasn't where I think it started um it sounds quite funny now but he was on a roof um doing somebody's and he, would, and he actually fell off and he fell off onto a statue and the statue was of an angel which is not very um, you know <laughs> he got hurt by an angel um, and he broke some ribs and um, punctured a lung and the the angel uh, for I, I think was the start of the, kicked off the lung cancer which eventually was what he died from with it and my poor mum suffered when dad was in ho in hospital because he wouldn't eat the food and he had she had to take him a meal every day so if you got to know him you'd absolutely have loved him and and that was what it was like with the neighbours because they did take the time to get to know him or he he would just talk to them anyway <laughs> he didn't have a choice really